Hello guys, welcome back to Don Amots. Uh, today you've got myself James, uh, in, obviously in front of the camera, and you've got Wendy behind the camera, but behind me, more importantly, is this Swift Escape 674. Um, based on your Fiat Ducato, this is 8.22 metres long. Uh, now, luckily, it comes under the 3.5 tonne, so you can drive it on your normal licence, so you don't have to have your C1 entitlement, which is always nice, so pretty much everyone, as long as they've got a full driving licence, can drive it. Um, so six berth five belts so really good combination you've got a drop down bed over the front dinette which turns into another double and then you've got a ginormous u-shaped lounge at the rear which again is extremely spacious and a you can use it as that or b you could also use it as a made-up bed and use the front lounge as well so whatever your preference on the 2.3 fiat decato manual six speed 2022 registered so not an old van in the slightest done just a touch over 17,200 miles off the top of my head so early 17,000 miles again for a two and a bit year old van now that's it's done nothing has it really it's still still not even broken in um power point water fill up with a 12 volt um filler as well if you want to toilet cassette fridge vents and then as we come further around, you've got your Truma heating exhaust. And then on the rear of your van, you've got your uh, bicycle points, rear parking sensors, and your rear view camera as well. Again, massive rear window because you've got that U-shaped lounge. So it's an extremely light and airy van. And again, with your big side windows as well. Coming under your lounge, you've got your garage door. That does go further down to the side. Thank you, Wend. And you can get access to that from the inside as well if you do need to. So, again, really handy space. In there, you've got space for two gas bottles, so plenty for what you need. And then up top, you've got your Fiamma F45S awning, wind-out awning. So, again, comes out 9, 10 foot. Big space, to be fair with you. And, again, perfect for that family-style van. All right, after you, Wendy. So, when we come inside... So I mentioned we've got the five belts. So I'll do that first and foremost. You've got yeah. one, two, three, and then four, five, just to the right of Wendy. Yeah. So again, Fantastic. carry a lot, a lot of people. Yeah. Up front, so we've got six-speed manual gearbox, air conditioning in your cab, all your normal stereo with your Bluetooth built in, cruise control just down here, and your normal Fiat. Um, dashboard as you expect yeah. this does have your blackout on yeah. the front and on your two side windows you have your thank you wendy <laughs> no that's fine no that's fine um so just next to me you've got your two map reading lights and you've also got a three pin plow pa the, 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 power power socket gosh everyone's going to comment below so get your words out um up top we've obviously got another skylight yeah with blackout and with fly blind as well um so dinette area here so this table can move around really simple to do so needs a little bit of greasing but that's not a problem at all there you go you can see it actually moving a bit better now it was just me being a bit of a fool um but i think more than anything you know you've got a lot of space here you could easily have one two three four five seven people here yeah. i think quite comfortably so it's a very spacious van but one thing to really make note of is the head height so a lot of vans you'll jump in with this drop down bed it will sit about here so if you're not careful you keep on you know special people like me you keep on hurting your head you won't i'm five foot ten and i think you've still got plenty of space underneath you've got these wonderful very spacious cupboards slightly larger on this side oh not that one um but definitely that one yeah. that's got all your motors in so while i'm on that point this isn't a manual bed it's an electric bed i'll show you the controls for it in a moment yeah. but that's quite a unique feature because a lot of these vehicles and even more expensive vehicles will have a manual bed where you've got a push up button in this doesn't it's all electric um and then oh last but not least sorry wendy right. this turns into another double yeah. as well so you're two berth above my head yeah two berth where i'm standing and two berth in the rear yeah. coming further around got all your main control panel I won't waste your time with that now, but we would explain that in fuller detail. Next to you is your Truma heating. So it's a blown air system for your hot water and for your uh, heating. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the controls for your electric bed, up down button, just there. Coming into your large kitchen. So you've got your kitchen extension, 
with your combination oven and grill and then your three gas burners. Up above, you've got your microwave. Just bear in mind that will only work when you're plugged into your electric hookup. Same as your three pin electrics as I go around and show you. While I'm on that, two three pin electrics there. So kettle, toaster, air fryer, any of the above. Yeah. Massive, massive sink. And then you've also got your space up top there for your pots, pans, cutlery, anything like that. Just below your oven, one drawer. And then also cupboard opening. And then just next to where Wendy is, thanking you, your concertina door. With your... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you've got cutting board and drying board, and then you've got your shelved units just below as well. Just push them back in so the shuts. Thank you, Wend. So, TV stand just to the yeah. side of me here, obviously for your lounge area up here, but also for your lounge area. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very, very clever. Yeah. And then you've got your three pin socket just here. Yep. And also your 12 volt and your aerial connection wow. as well. If Wendy jumps into the bathroom, yep. so it's a wet room, very large wet room at that with massive vanity mirror and space underneath the sink for storing items. Yeah. Really good space to be fair. And it's heated in there. Super. So walking along, you've got your very large one. Thank you. Dual one, isn't it? it is. So... Anyone who watches my videos go, knows how much I love these. I would buy a van solely for that reason. Yeah. But I think that's a cracking idea. Especially because of where your kitchen is yeah. and where your lounge is. It will depend which way you're going to open it. Just below, even more space. Shoes, anything nice yeah. like that. Yeah. And then above, again, that's where your aerial is. Yep. Okay. Now you've also got a partition here, so it is a curtain partition, but it means obviously you can then shut that off where Wendy is now as a bedroom, or subsequently you could obviously shut the front off and then use your lounge area still as well. Yeah. Up top here, you've got a massive cupboard. Now at the moment, that's got the infills for your bed up front. Yeah. Naturally, if you weren't going to use it as a bed, you wouldn't need to take them with you, no. or you could then place them elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you've got your freestanding table massive important part that because where wendy and i are now you could obviously use this as a dining area yeah. and put your table or all being well the british weather holds out you'd yeah. have it outside <laughs> so you don't have to carry another table that being the main bit here because a lot of vans you will have to so big u-shaped lounge three massive windows opposing me and this ginormous skylight as well all of them have blackout blinds and fly blinds and all open but then going all around here, you've got these massive cupboards. Now I'm not gonna waste your time by showing you, showing you in every one, but you pretty much get the idea. Yeah. You're not gonna run out of space. Mm -hmm. You've got plenty. And then again, underneath here, you've got even more storage. Yeah. And that's the same on the rear, or on the rear, behind me, should I say, rather than anything else. Yeah. You've got loads. Okay. And again, it follows suit under here as well, because that, if you remember from the outside, you can put stuff through there. Yeah. It's absolutely cavernous. Yeah. Um, so quickly recap, five traveling, six sleeping, 8.22 meters, drive it on a normal car license. What's not to like? Um, you know where we are, come down, see us. I would always say ring us before, just to make sure it's still available. Ask for myself, James, and I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you.